Hi there strikers on today's video I'm going to ask you do you believe in ghost? Are they real? On today's video we will tackle the origin story of a ghost. In folklore, a ghost is the soul or spirit of a dead person or animal that can appear to the living. In ghost lore, descriptions of ghosts vary widely from an invisible presence to translucent or barely visible wispy shapes to realistic, lifelike, forms. The deliberate attempt to contact the spirit of a deceased person is known as necromancy, or in spiritism as a seance. Other terms associated with it are apparition, haunt, phantom, poltergeist, shade, specter or specter, spirit, spook, wraith, demons, and ghouls. The belief in the existence of an afterlife, as well as manifestations of the spirits of the dead, is widespread, dating back to, animism or ancestor worship in pre-literate cultures. Certain religious practices, funeral rites, exorcisms, and some practices of spiritualism and ritual magic, are specifically designed to rest the spirits of the dead. Ghosts are generally described as solitary, human-like essences, though stories of ghostly armies and the ghosts of animals rather than humans have also been recounted. They are believed to haunt particular locations, objects, or people they were associated with in life. According to a 2009 study by the Pew Research Center, 18% of Americans say they have seen a ghost. The overwhelming consensus of science is that there is no proof that ghosts exist their existence is impossible to falsify and ghost hunting has been classified as pseudoscience. Despite centuries of investigation, there is no scientific evidence that any location is inhabited by spirits of the dead. Historically, Certain toxic and psychoactive plants, such as Datura and Hyosiamus niger, whose use has long been associated with necromancy and the underworld, have been shown to contain anticholinergic compounds that are pharmacologically linked to dementia, specifically DLB, as well as Histological patterns of neurodegeneration Recent research has indicated that ghost sightings may be related to degenerative brain diseases such as Alzheimer's disease common prescription medication and over-the-counter drugs, such as sleep aids, may also, in rare instances, cause ghost-like hallucinations particularly zolpidem and diphenhydraminol to reports linked carbon monoxide poisoning to, ghost-like hallucinations. There are many references to ghosts in Mesopotamian religions, the religions of Sumer, Babylon, Assyria, and other early states in Mesopotamia. Traces of these beliefs survive in the later Abrahamic religions that came to dominate the region ghosts were thought to be created at time of death, taking on the memory and personality of the dead person. They traveled to their netherworld, where they were assigned a position, and led an existence similar in some ways to that of the living. Relatives of the dead were expected to make offerings of food and drink to the dead to ease their conditions. If they did not, the ghosts could inflict misfortune and illness on the living. Traditional healing practices ascribed a variety of illnesses to the action of ghosts, while others were caused by gods or demons. There was widespread belief in ghosts in ancient Egyptian culture The Hebrew Bible contains few references to ghosts, associating spiritism with forbidden occult activities cf. Deuteronomy 18.11. The most notable references in the first book of Samuel, I Samuel 28-3-19 KJV, in which a disguised King Saul has the witch of Ender summon the spirit or ghost of, Samuel. The soul and spirit were believed to exist after death, with the ability to assist or harm the living, and the possibility of a second death. 
Over a period of more than 2,500 years, Egyptian beliefs about the nature of the afterlife evolved constantly. Many of these beliefs were recorded in hieroglyph inscriptions, papyrus scrolls and tomb paintings. The Egyptian Book of the Dead compiles some of the beliefs from different periods of ancient Egyptian history in modern times, the fanciful concept of a mummy coming back to life and wreaking vengeance when disturbed has spawned a whole genre of horror stories and films. There were some reported cases of ghostly armies, fighting battles at night in the forest, or in the remains of an Iron Age Hilford, as at Wandlebury, near Cambridge, England. Living knights were sometimes challenged to single combat by phantom knights, which vanished when defeated. Are ghosts real? Ghost hunters like to believe that ghosts exist, but science and logic are the real ghost busters if you believe in ghosts, you're not alone. Cultures all around the world believe in spirits that survive death to live in another realm. In fact, ghosts are among their most widely believed of paranormal phenomenon, millions of people are interested in ghosts, and thousands read ghost stories on Reddit every day. It's more than mere entertainment, a 2019 found that 46% of Americans say they truly believe in ghosts. The nation is discerning in its undead beliefs, only 7% of respondents said they believe in vampires. The idea that the dead remain with us in spirit is an ancient one, appearing in countless stories, from the Bible to Macbeth. It even spawned a folklore genre, ghost stories. Belief in ghosts is part of a larger web of related paranormal beliefs, including near-death experience, life after death, and spirit communication. The belief offers many people comfort. Who doesn't want to believe that our beloved but deceased family members, aren't looking out for us, on with us in our times of need? People have tried to, or claimed to, communicate with spirits for ages, in Victorian England, for example, it was fashionable for upper crust ladies to hold seances in their parlours after tea and crumpets with friends. Ghost clubs dedicated to searching for ghostly evidence formed at prestigious universities, including Cambridge and Oxford, and in 1882 the most prominent organization, the Society for Psychical Research, was established. A woman named Eleanor Sidgwick was an investigator, and later president, of that group, and could be considered the original female ghost buster. In America during the late 1800s, many psychic mediums claimed to speak to the dead, but were later exposed as frauds by skeptical investigators, such as Harry Houdini. Ghost hunters use many creative, and dubious, methods to detect the spirit's presences, often including psychics. Virtually all ghost hunters claim to be scientific and most give that appearance because they use high-tech scientific equipment such as Geiger counters, electromagnetic field, EMF, detectors, ion detectors, infrared cameras and sensitive microphones. Yet none of this equipment has ever been shown to actually detect ghosts. For centuries, people believed that flames turned blue in the presence of ghosts. Today, few people accept that bit of law, but it's likely that many of the signs taken as evidence by today's ghost hunters will be seen as just as wrong and antiquated centuries from now. Other researchers claim that the reason ghosts haven't been proven to exist is that we simply don't have the right technology to find or detect the spirit world. But this, too, can't be correct. Either ghosts exist and appear in our ordinary physical world, and can therefore be detected and recorded in photographs, film, video and audio recordings, or they don't. If ghosts exist and can be scientifically detected or recorded, 
then we should find hard, evidence of that, yet we don't. If ghosts exist but cannot be scientifically detected or recorded, then all the photos, videos, audio and other recordings claimed to be evidence of ghosts cannot be ghosts. With so many basic contradictory theories, and so little science brought to bear on the topic, it's not surprising that despite the efforts of thousands of ghost hunters on television and elsewhere for decades, not a single piece of hard evidence of ghosts has been found. And, of course, with the recent development of ghost apps for smartphones, it's easier than ever to create seemingly spooky images and share them on social media, making separating fact from fiction even more difficult for ghost researchers. Most people who believe in ghosts do so because of some personal experience. They grew up in a home where the existence of friendly spirits was taken for granted, for example, or they had some unnerving experience on a ghost tour or local haunt. However, many people believe that support for the existence of ghosts can be found in no less a hard science than modern physics. It is widely claimed that Albert Einstein suggested a scientific basis for the reality of ghosts, based on the first law of thermodynamics, if energy cannot be created or destroyed but only change form, what happens to our body's energy when we die? Could that somehow be manifested as a ghost? If ghosts are real, and are some sort of as yet unknown energy or entity, then their existence will, like all other scientific discoveries, be discovered and verified by scientists through controlled experiments, not by weekend ghost hunters wandering around abandoned houses in the dark late at night with cameras and flashlights. In the end, and despite mountains of ambiguous photos, sounds, and videos, the evidence for ghosts is no better today than it was a century ago. There are two possible reasons for the failure of ghost hunters to find good evidence. The first is that ghosts don't exist, and that reports of ghosts can be explained by psychology, misperceptions, mistakes and hoaxes. The second option is that ghosts do exist, but that ghost hunters do not possess the scientific tools or mindset to uncover any meaningful evidence. But ultimately, ghost hunting is not about the evidence at all, if it was, the search would have been abandoned long ago. Instead, it's about, having fun with friends, telling stories, and, the enjoyment of pretending to search the edge of the unknown. After all, everyone loves a good ghost story.